guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm gonna be doing a makeup haul and this is my first haul <clears throat> so I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you guys just know that I'm not wearing any foundation that's why I look really pale and you guys can see like all my blemishes right now but I'm sorry so let's get started so this is my bag I went to Mac Sephora and Ulta, and these are my bags. I just love makeup bags, they make me happy. But before I get started, I'm gonna show you a product I bought maybe a few days ago because I really wanted to show you guys because I only used it once and I know I'm gonna love it because I really loved it. But the only problem about it was I got the wrong color, I got like a color that was too orange for me because. Every time I purchase foundations, I always purchase them maybe like two shades darker than my skin tone only because that's me. You know, don't judge me. That's how, just how I roll. You know, I never get something that's like, if it's close to my skin, it's good. But this one, I thought I was going to be correct because I bought this at Walmart. And you know, you can't really test anything at Walmart. Well, at my Mar Walmart, you can't. But I got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. And I am in color W5. Point five, and this color literally like the packaging it looks like it's not that dark right but right when I opened it I'm like mm, look at that it's like this really golden cut like it looks really tan and when I put it on my skin it looks really orange but I can balance it out so it's not a problem the color is not really a problem anymore for me but this foundation it's like a sponge and all you have to to take out the product is all you have to do is maybe um put a sponge to take it out and with a stifle brush but i use my beauty blender for this i just dab a little like lightly on this sponge and a lot of product not a lot of product but enough product gets out that i don't have to be keep on dabbing it just to dab it on or to blend it on my face but this is such a nice product. I actually didn't wear this for a long time. I only wore this to test it out. And it was just like a couple hours. Maybe like 4 to 5 hours. And it did stay on all day. Or those 4 hours it did stay on. I don't know how long this foundation stays on for. To be honest. It's a liquid foundation and a cushion. That's what it says. Exactly what I just said. And this was like. This was kind of expensive. I thought this was expensive. It was like $13. I'm like that's kind of expensive. For foundations nowadays, I feel like prices are starting to go up. And drugstore foundations are supposed to be cheap, you know. But I found this really expensive. I'm like, and I wasn't going to buy it at first. But I'm like, I really want to try it. So I really, this is, I only used it once. And I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I'm literally going to wear it tomorrow for maybe, I don't know if I'm wearing it tomorrow. Maybe. But if I do, I'll tell you, I'll make a review on, on it if I wear it enough that I start to fall in love with it. But I like it for now. Um, But, yeah really excited to wear it more but yeah my next store i went to today was sephora i'm gonna go on order and i got a mini baggie because today i was really disappointed because when i went to sephora they had nothing and i got really mad because i didn't get mad i just got really because at sephora that's usually like my palace you know my usually my kingdom and when I went, they had, like, nothing of what I wanted. Like, I wanted to get some lipsticks from Kat Von D. And the two colors they had, the, I think it's Bone and Arrow and Dan. They weren't, they were out of stock. And then they didn't have other stuff I wanted. And I got, I was just kidding. And then they kept telling me, oh, you can order it. And it'll be in your house in three days. I'm just like, I don't like that. Like, I don't, I don't know why. I just stopped ordering online for makeup because it's just really for me it was really like annoying to be waiting certain days and then get my stuff i don't know that's just me i mean i still order online but i don't find it fun you know this the lady kept pressuring me she kept telling me she's like oh it's blah 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 three days you know it's not that long you know blah 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 i'm like well bitch today it's wednesday and there's no mail on saturday or sunday so i'm probably gonna get it on monday and i'm not gonna wait that long and i told her i'm like you know what it's fine i'll just wait you know i don't have to have it today you know i don't have to have the lipsticks today it's like it's gonna I'm not gonna die without them, you know. She kept pressuring me, and I, I got really mad. I'm just like, and she's like, "You're really gonna wait?" I'm just like, "Yes, I'm gonna wait. It's okay, girl. It's okay, girl. Calm down." But yeah, um, in the Sephora, and I got a little bag. And the first thing I got 
was I got the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick. I've never tried their lipsticks before. I have like, like I own like five of their liquid matte, liquid lipsticks. Like the ones that are a liquid form and they turn matte. I have five of those. I have like five different ones. And I've never tried the lipsticks. I mean, we didn't know what I just said. Whatever. I haven't never tried them in this lipstick form. And I got it in the color Gothica. I don't know if I presented that right. Or said that right. But this was the last one. Like, I was really fun, like excited. I'm just like, yeah, finally, at least I got something that I wanted. And this is how it looks. I think it's so cute. It's like the studded lipstick. And this is how it looks. Sorry. My hand has swatches. But it's like this gold. It's like you guys can't really tell. But this has pigmentations of glitter and it's weird because when I swatched this at Sephora today, it looked like it was an eyeshadow. And I'm like, I should use this as an eyeshadow, but I'm really excited to use this. I've never, I'm not really into this type of, I'm always into like, like matte formations. And this does stay on all day and whatever, but it's not matte. So I'm really excited to use this because it's actually a really nice color. And yeah. The next thing I got, I said, oh, it's something I've been wanting for like a couple months, but I, every time I go, I always forget and I never get it until like I'm checking out and I see it. I'm like, oh, okay, bye. But I got the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I know this is not new or anything to the makeup world, but this is new to me. I mean, I've tried it once. I forgot where I tried it, but I remember, I think my friend had it and I was trying it. And like, I loved it. And I've seen many reviews on it. And like Mandy loves it and Mandy MUA. So I'm like, I'm gonna get it. And this is how it looks. It's like a contouring. Well, not contouring, but it's like a bronzing shade. And it looks really light on camera. Everything looks like on camera. But it's like this you can't really tell, but I can't wait to use this. I've already tried this before. It was between this one or Dallas because supposedly that's another popular one. But I've seen pe what people do like versus or like hula versus dallas and a lot of people were saying uh hula is a better option so i can't wait to use this because i'm just excited because i've seen what this does to really light skin people and since my skin has become very fair since i haven't tanned since i don't tan or anything and since i've been out i don't go outside or anything because i'm always inside my skin has completely changed a lot um for, um a lot so and i'm really excited because that means that i can use darker colors on me and it's gonna look more you know intensified you know but yeah i'm really excited to use this but yeah the next store i went to was mac and that's i should have went to mac because i found out today mac that their new collection is coming out tomorrow so i'm like if i went tomorrow shopping i would have wasted more money on mac but I wanted the new collection on those lipsticks. Because I've never really bought any. Like, this is my first time. I'm Like, not my first time, make, like, in person at MAC. But this was my first time purchasing stuff at MAC. And I was, like, really, like, scared. Because I've seen, like, videos where girls are, like, my first, ex my bad experience at MAC. I was scared. I'm, like, I don't want people being mean to me. Because I think I'm sentimental. But I got Big Daddy. And the first thing. Sorry, there's, like, a coupon in here. The first thing I got was the MAC uh, Prep and Prime Fix Plus because I've heard really good things about this. The lady was telling me that even if you um, if you use like them glitter pigmentations, like the loose ones, it will make them stay on your brush. And I always had problems with that with my um, setting spray because I always use my setting spray for that. I always had problems with that and it never stays. And this is how it looks. It's clear. It's the neutral one or whatever so it doesn't smell like anything she told me that the ones that are scented are sold online and not in store because i was there to buy the one that was like cucumber scent but she said that they, they only sell those on, online now so i'm like okay well i want i still want the studio plus because i really want to try it so i'm like okay i'll just get the neutral one it's fine so i got this and i'm really excited to use this because they say it's nice she said it's gonna change your life and you know that's what they told me when i bought the beauty blender i'm just like it's just a sponge but when i use the sponge for the first time i'm just like like where have you been my whole life like all right the next thing i bought uh i was about to say i went dixie <laughs> oh my god the next thing i bought uh 
I was about to say one Dixie again. I don't know why I'm thinking about my job. Alright. The next thing I bought at Sephora at MAC was the Pro Longwear Foundation. I've always wanted to try their foundation because I've heard it's really not it's like really good coverage. And I will I don't know. I just never really thought about like every time I would get want to get a new foundation, I never really, you know, thought about MAC, you know. But yeah so this is how the foundation looks like it looks like does not look like my skin tone but you i as i said i like darker foundations and i'm in the color nc35 and she literally when she put this on my skin it looked like my skin color but it doesn't look like my skin color but it was probably the light or something but i probably but yeah she, it looked really nice. I love how she, like, she literally used a brush, and I don't really use brushes when I do my makeup. When I do, you know, it comes out good, but when I use a beauty blender, when I use a beauty blender, it comes out better. But when she used a brush, it looked really nice. It looked like, it didn't look like my skin, but it, it did look like, kind of like my skin. But I loved how it looked. Like, to be honest, it looked like a regular foundation, like. Not a regular foundation, but um, right now I'm using the Marc Jacobs one, and it, it looks exactly like the Marc Jacobs one. But the Marc Jacobs one is better, you know, to be honest, the Marc Jacobs. If you guys are looking for a foundation, like, for life, use the Marc Jacobs one, because that will change your life, like, that base, though. Sorry. But I can't wait to use this, because I'm just excited. I don't know, I'm just really happy that I got this, because she says that it's, like, a 10 to 15 hour stay, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, girl, I don't know. I was really excited. I felt bad, though. Like, she told me, she, like, she was so nice about it, too. Because I kept telling her to do stuff for me. Like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, I'm just like, can you match me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, she had people. Well, she had only one other person, but still. I was making her do this, do that, look for stuff for me. But she was so nice about it. And she gave me something else that I'm going to show you later. But, yeah. All right. <clears throat> the next thing I got on MAC was I got the Pro Longwear Concealer. Eh. Because I really wanted to try it. I have these stickers. This is proof of purchase. Girl, I don't know proof. And this is in the color NC15. And it's like a little pump. Like, she, they had, like, uh, concealers that were in crayon form. But she says those weren't as more, uh, that, those weren't, they, I mean, they were covered, like, they would conceal, you know. But this one was more coverage than the ones that look like crayons. And I was about to get the crayon form for my contouring, but I totally forgot. Like, I totally forgot. I was actually going to get it, but I forgot. So, I can't wait to use this because I've heard really good reviews about MAC concealers. I heard that they actually do conceal. And... I'm really excited to use this. Like, I've never tried. Like, I'm never a really concealer fan. I mean, mostly all my concealers are drugstore because I really... I don't really conceal. When I conceal, it's only, like, right here. And maybe to highlight. Maybe that's all I do. I never really conceal conceal because I don't really have dark circles or anything. I have mostly redness, but... I'm excited to use this product because I've just heard really nice reviews on it. So the next thing I got was the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And I was really confused because they have different ones. They have like, I don't know, they have like a bronze. I, I got really confused. Like, she was explaining to me, but I wasn't really listening, which was bad. But I liked how this one looked. And it's basically a foundation powder. That, yeah, it's basically like the whole nine yards. And I'm in the color NC42. I can't even open I forgot how to open it. You have to like, you have to squish it to open it. And I keep trying to open it like that. And this is my color. It's like basically, it's like a really thick powder. Like don't think that it's just a light powder. Like this one on. Like this one. Don't think it's just a regular. There's nothing in here. Sorry, there's a little bit because I had pan. Look how much I had pan. But uh, it's basically like this, like a powder foundation, but it's he kind of heavier because it has like mostly all the coverage you need. And it comes with a little sponge that I won't be using because I don't like using these. These are weird. Oh, that's weird. I used to apply my makeup with those sponges, but it was just weird. Now that I have like other stuff to apply my makeup with I don't know 
but I'm really excited to use this. I've never really tried foundation with just powder on its own. I always have to wear liquid and then powder with powder. But this one I'm going to try it just wear it just with powder because she says it's going to look fine either way. So I'm really excited to use that because she said it's going to be high coverage. And I can't wait to use them. The next thing I bought at, sorry I'm signaling my sister. At uh, MAC was a pigment, and I got the pigment melon. I'm just kidding, melon for my Spanish speakers, for my Spanish babies. And this is how it looks it's like a very goldish color. I wanted this color in copper really bad. Like, she saw it in my eyes, she was so nice about everything. I was just like, girl, you are like employee goals. Like, I'm sorry, I mean, that's so sorry. But she said that with the Fix Plus, all you have to do is spray it on the brush, blah, 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 dip it, and it's going to stay. Because I always have problems with my pigments, my loose pigments staying on my eyeballs. And I really wanted the copper. And she, this girl, she gave me a sample of the copper. She said she, she wasn't really allowed to do that. That's what she told me. I'm like, are you sure? But she gave me a sample of the copper. And I don't really want to, like, show you guys because I don't want it to flip over. But it's like, look how... That looks like life. I'm going to buy this next time. It's like this reddish copper color. And it's really nice. And I can't wait to use it. Like, I'm really excited. She put in the little sample MAC thingy. It's so cute. She was really nice about it. She was chill about it. But she like, see you soon. I'm like, bitch. But I can't wait to use that. And these are my first. I mean, I have other loose pigments. But they're like, suck. They suck really bad. I'm not going to name one. I'm not going to tell you what brand it is. But yeah. Yeah, I don't really like it. And the last thing I got is, because uh, when I was at MAC, I was looking at the lipsticks, and I really didn't like the lipsticks. Like, I literally, when I was, like, swatching them all, like, I didn't swatch them all. I swatched the ones I liked. They looked like they weren't, like, they were, I don't know, they looked really glossy, and I got really confused. When I was at MAC, I was confused most of the time until she explained everything to me. But the last thing I got was when I was at the checkout, and I saw it, and I asked her if she still had it, and she said she did. I got the Ariana Grande MAC lipstick. And, hold on, let me try to open it. Oh, sorry, I'm going to try opening stuff. I didn't even get it out there. Dude, this is my first MAC lipstick, so I'm really excited to use this. It's like a little bullet. And it has, it's like shiny, and it says MAC, and has her little signature around the, the lipstick thingy, whatever. And it's like this really dark auburn color. It doesn't come off this dark. It actually, it's more of a, um, oh, I think it's that one. I'm not pretty sure it's this one. It's like this really darkish, reddish, pinkish color. And it's such a pretty color. I'm just like, girl, Ariana Grande, where have you been my whole life? Like, girl, why couldn't you be like this when you were okay? Cat and Sam or whatever that show was called. Victoria's. But this is my first matte lipstick. And I think it's really nice, like. And it was not that, like, bad. It was, like, $17. And every lips, like, that's not bad. I don't think that was bad because, you know, it's MAC and it's Ariana Grande. I thought it would be, like, $23 or $25 for it. But I was pretty shocked when it was, like, $16. I'm just, like, sign me up. All right. So the last thing I got was at Ulta. And I'm not really an Ulta fan because I mostly buy everything at Sephora. But since Sephora was out of stock, the only reason why I went to Ulta is because I'm going to do my friend's makeup soon. And I don't have brushes. Like, I have so much makeup. I don't even have, like, I literally have, like, two eye brushes. Okay, not two eye brushes. I have more than that. I probably have, like, five eye brushes. But that's it. So, I bought the Real Techniques Eye Starter Set. Set. I literally have these exact same brushes because I love these brushes. I like these two. These are my favorite ones. And I like this for liner because when I start my clients, I'm not going to be using, I'm going to be using pop. And there's like this one for the smudger, like for, to do the under eye. And then there's like an eyebrow one. And it has a deluxe crease brush, a base shadow brush, an accent brush, fine liner brush, a brow brush. And I really liked how, sorry, I uh, had yawn. And like, yeah. And I'm really excited to use this. And it has new packaging. It came with a new thing. I was going to buy like 
other brush like it's really hard for me to buy brushes because i don't know what to look for into brushes because whenever i have a brush i make sure it works like i remember i went to school the other day and i accidentally brought a fan brush instead of a uh, powder brush because sometimes i do my nose gets really oily and i have to blot it and i had to use my fan brush to blot my nose and it was really uncomfortable but i made it work so <clears throat> the next thing i got was the ardell glamour multi pack lashes and 105s literally i've been looking at every type of lashes and i haven't really liked them and these are one dollar cheaper at ulta than they are at target just saying because at target they're 11.99 but at ulta they're 10.99 so i'm like a dollar or is that two i think that's two dollars and these are my favorite ones these are the 105 so really long and big and they come with five or they come with four and it's these are really nice like these are like the type to go out you know these are probably not the ones to be using for like you know going to church or something but these are really nice i really like these i hope i was gonna get vegas name ones but i'm like they only come with one pack and they're like seven dollars i'm like that's pretty pricey so, yeah. <clears throat> the next thing i got is uh, actually mine is my sister's but she like begged me so i'm just like okay whatever it is a little sample. It's not a little sample, but it was like in like not the real big thing. She got the real their real benefit beyond mascara. And I never really tried this mascara. I heard it's really good. She only bought it because she heard that the if you use this with the roller lasher by benefit, you'll get really nice results. And that's how the brush looks like. It's really big. Just good. Looks like it's great, but it's not. And it has, I love how Benefit is. Like, I'm literally wearing their eyeliner, their real push up liner. Their real push up liner is the best liner I've ever used in my whole life. Like, this is gel, but in a pen form. Like, who, who, like, why? Like, that's the best thing anyone could ever create. Like, gel liner is like the best type of liner to put on your eyes if you want a matte finish. And putting that in a pen form to be more easily applied is the best thing you can ever do. So benefit, like, props to you. Props to you, girl. The next thing I got uh, was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. They didn't have a lot of um, variety because, like, they had nothing there. So I got the color 25 in medium. And this is how it looks. I've heard this is really good. Um, the last, uh, foundation or concealer I fell in love with was the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay Concealer. And I fell in love with that concealer until I met the Maybelline Insta- Maybelline knows how to do its concealers. The not let the, and then the second concealer I fell in love with was the Instant Rewind. And now I heard this one's good. This is the Fit Me Concealer. And I do, I was gonna buy the foundation to go with it but I wait did I buy the foundation? I thought I did oh no I didn't buy it oh yeah because when I when I when I picked it up when I bought I picked up the foundation I saw the concealer I'm like wait I want the concealer so I put down the foundation I forgot about it but I got this because I really wanted to do a drugstore look and I've been trying to gather up things because it's really hard for me to, you know, you know, I got the L'Oreal cushion, this, and I got to get a powder foundation that's, like, I'm trying to do a drugstore look for you guys that I'm comfortable with because I don't want to lie to you guys. But, I'm really excited to use this. I heard this is really good. My friend uses it and she said that she recommends it. That's really good. And it increased on her. I mean, like, because when she took pictures with light, like, flash, it the light uh, under her eyes didn't reflect back. So, um, that's what I look for mostly in a concealer. And also that just um, depends on how you uh, finish off the concealer and whatever or how much you apply on. But I'm really excited to use this. I want to get the foundation with them. I also want to get the inflammable, inflammable, the inflammable foundation. But I don't know if I should. It looks like it's really muddy. It looks like it's going to be really heavy. But that's only for us to like run. Yeah. The next thing I got was something I was going to buy at Sephora, but they ran out. So this is one benefit of going to Ulta and seeing it there. I'm just like, I got the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar, and I am so excited. I have the 
um, what's the other one called? Just the regular chocolate bar. And I, I always, I actually, when I bought the chocolate bar, I thought I was buying this one. I was buying the other one. But I'm really excited to finally get this. Actually, they actually came, I just said actually two times. They actually came um, out with a new one. I think it's like strawberry bonbon. And I was looking at the colors today on it and like, I didn't really like it for some reason. I don't know why. I just didn't like it. I mean, there was pretty, there were, they're nice colors, but I'm just like, these aren't, sorry, it's only chocolate. I mean, I just, for my preference, I wouldn't purchase it only because that's not my type of color coordination. And I know you should always learn new things or whatever. Oh, these have the, um, names on them. This is the palette, look at this palette dough. Oh my god, it smells like chocolate. What the Oh my god, her peanut butter is really good. Oh my god. Oh, you're so pretty. Maybe I should get the strawberry bomb. But, but this is such a beautiful... I fell in love with the first one. And I know I'm going to fall in love with this one. Um, It has the colors liqueur. Coconut cream, nugget, truffle, hot fudge, frosty peanut butter, blueberry swirl, pudding, pink sugar, cocoa chill, rum raisin, mousse, caramel, bamba, and butter pecan. And they all sound like beautiful chocolates. And I'm really excited to use this. I've really been wanting this for a long time. Actually, on my wish list was this and the hula bronzer. And I got that both today, so I don't really need makeup right now in my life. But. You know, you guys, I was actually going to purchase the Naked 3 today. Or, yeah. I was going to purchase the Naked 3. And my sister told me not to. And I don't know if I want... Because I really want the Naked 3 because of all the pink... Fat, fat, um, uh, sorry, I sound like... I can't speak. Sorry. I just love the colors on it. They're all pink colors. And I'm starting to... Because I used to be mostly of a gold girl. You know, like gold eyelids. Black. That's all I wear on my lids. But now, I'm starting to fall in love with pink. I really want that palette because it has really nice colors. And I saw the naked. I'm just like, like the first one. I'm just like, oh my god. So um, these, those next ones are on my wish list. But I'm trying not to go back into like really old palettes. I'm trying to try the ones that are already out so I can show you guys and give you guys reviews on them. But and what I got because I guess you get a prize or you get a prize. You get. A sample for doing for buying something from Too Faced. I got a sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I actually already have the big version and I actually have another mini version. So this is the third mascara I have. I actually love this mascara. I've heard reviews saying that it's bad or whatever, but since I mostly don't I never wear mascara. My eyelashes love everything. Like literally you can put any type of mascara on my eyelid my eyelashes. And my eyelashes will love you. Like, they'll love any mascara. That's how my eyelashes are. Um, I don't really... Because that's why I'm not really of a mascara fan. Only because I don't wear it. Like, my eyelashes are naturally dark and long. So, only when I wear my falsies, I apply it. Like, only when I know I'm going to do queen makeup. You know, drastic makeup. I put a lot of mascara on. But, today... Oh, no more. Sorry. This is the eye makeup. I'm not wearing any. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not wearing any mascara. Only because I'm not. I always felt like mascara always like made your eyelashes fall off for some reason. So, but growing up right now in the stage I am, you know. I want to like try different things. And... Even though I might not like it, you know, I need to know because if I don't wear mascara, like, if, I don't know, I just, you know, you, if you're gonna be all about makeup, you have to wear it all, you know. You can't be all about makeup and only wear eyeliner wing and your eyebrows done like how I have it right now. You have to know how, not know, but you have to be, you have to go into things you're not comfortable in like the other day I was wearing lipstick that looked like bubblegum color and it looked ugly on me but I made it work you know I put a, a, a gloss over it and it made it look better 
but you just have to get out of your comfort zone. I think that's really important for a makeup person or someone that's really into makeup like I am. Well, I'm not into into makeup, but I love makeup. You have to be into it all in order to learn, you know? Because you can't give people advice and makeup and not know what you were saying, you know? You can't be like, oh, you should wear this mascara when you've never tried it before, you know? So I'm trying to try everything. I'm going to go through, like, every foundation I can in the drugstore. Like, even the ones I don't like because I'm not really a fan of Revlon for some reason. I just don't care. But they have their color stay foundation and I really want to try it, you know. It doesn't it doesn't hurt to try. And it says I'm mostly of a right here dry skin and an oily in some parts. It's like a combination. I'm gonna get the best of both worlds. Not the best of both worlds, but I'm gonna know how it's gonna feel, you know? But yeah. <clears throat> That's just my message. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching my haul. I'm sorry for it being so long. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, comment below what should I do next. If I should do a new makeup look. If I should do a colorful look. Because I am trying to get out of my comfort zone. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Because right now is my time. But I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys next time.